everyone, in this video I just wanted to show you some fun ways to use the embossing folders that are in the collection. So there's four embossing folders, two 5x7s and two 6x6. Six six. This is the cloud one there, you can just see it. And then you've got this lovely zigzag. You've got the balloons, I love the balloons. And then you've also got like the sprinkles there, or the confetti. So those are the four. And what I've done here is I've made these little boxes with different stamps on top and they make beautiful little gifts. So you've got this one here with the hot air balloon flying by just to say hi and it's got the zigzag embossed lid there. Looks really, really sweet. And then again, we've got the wonderful little Jerry the giraffe there with happy birthday. And then I've used some green baker's twine and that's got the clouds all on there. And then this one here has the, again, that sprinkles kind of confetti with the it's your birthday on there. So I'm gonna do the fourth one using the balloons, which is this one here. So, okay, so what I've got here is two pieces of card and you will need one piece that's four and a half by five and a half, which is for the lid. And on that one there, you just want to score three quarters of an inch. It makes a nice little gift box size, perfect for little small bits of jewelry or some sweet treats. Okay, so three quarters of an inch on all four sides. Now this piece here is a piece of five by six, but because this is gonna be the base, we wanna make it just that tiny little bit smaller. So I'm just popping it in my trimmer here and I'm just taking off like a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm just bringing it down. You can see there what I've just kind of cut away from each side. And then you want to score all four sides on this one at one inch. So one, one, Okay, so that's that all done. Next, we just want to fold and burnish those score lines. Okay, so that's the base. With the lid, before I actually burnish that, is you know, you want to get it embossed. So I'm just going to open up the 6x6 one here and I'm just going to pop it in the centre there. Kind of happy with that. And then just pop it over. We might have to redo the score lines, just go over them. But I'm just going to run this through my die machine. Okay, so now just take this one out and you can see that really cool effect we've got. But I can still see the score lines there. If you feel you need to just re-score them again, then you can do, but I think, yeah, we're gonna be okay. So I'm just going to just carefully fold those ones there. Like so, and then we just need to do a little bit of cutting. So I'm gonna start with the base first of all. You're gonna cut them the same way, but along the short side, I'm just cutting up those score lines like so. And I'm just going to flip it around, cut up there, and then I'm just going to take a little wedge off of all four of those corners, just so then you've got these tabs, and they will just make it easier for you to fold the box. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat that on the lid, so again I'm going to sh start across the shorter side here. Okay, now we just need to add some glue to the tabs. I'm just starting with the base here, but you can do the lid if you want. And I'm gonna bring that one up and under. Actually, if you start with the base first, again, I'll show you in a moment, just a, another good way to attach the, or stick the lid together, but making sure it's gonna fit nicely to the base. So I'm just going around, oh, and just popping the glue and bringing each tab inside. And because we've just cut little wedges off of the side, you'll see we don't get anything sticking out of the top there. Okay, so again. Okay, and then again, you wanna do the same with the lid. So now, that one's left to do, but I can pop the lid on, like so. So I get a really nice closure. And then I can just kind of pop my glue in there. Just bring that around and do that last bit there. And that way you get a really nice closure on your box. Just hold that for a second. Okay, and there you have a really nice little gift box. Perfect for some jewelry and it would even fit a gift card in there as well. So now I just need to decorate. So I've got some baker's twine. So I've got this orange here. Just pop that over to one side. So I'm just going to have like an even amount on each side and just wrap it. I've done it kind of like three times and then underneath, twist it around and again, kind of group it together. Make sure it's quite taut. 
obviously these ones here are just for display but I just wanted to give you just another nice idea on how to use embossing folders and I may just struggle to get a bow so this one might have to be a little knot but that's fine because we're going to be sticking something on the top anyway but you can see there that looks quite sweet anyway Okay, so to decorate this one, I'm going to use the smaller flowers here. I've got a few of them left over and that little tiny sentiment there for my best bud. But you've also got Oops a Daisy, sorry I forgot. So there's some really fun ones there that you can use. I'm going to just trim those little bits off there because I don't think you're going to see any of that. You don't need any of it. And I'm just going to grab some of my foam, pop it on the back and just kind of build up a little cluster. Okay, and then I've just grabbed some more of the twine. I've just made a small little bow, just trim some of that off there, and I can just attach that one just there with a little bit of glue. I might use, need to use some hot glue, but for the minute, I can just go there. And there you have it, very cute little gift box. So it's just another fun way, just to give you some inspiration on how you can use embossing folders and also those stamped images with the matching dies there as well. So I hope you liked this video.